is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another edition of Extra Vision. I am your host, Eckstein. As always, we're going to be covering the happenings of TF2 in the last week. Let's get started. The biggest news, man versus machine dropping like it is hot. Um, it is awesome. Um, I, I was on Reddit on like Monday uh, talking about the great opportunity that I had to play test this mode a while back. Um, I believe like last August was the first time that I played it and uh, you know it's come a long way and it's really great all the work that Valve has put into it. It's a very fun mode. You get to play with five other friends, six players taking on bot enemies. Um, the robots are crazy. There's giant robots um, and you really got to give it a spin. If you haven't been playing TF2 in a while, what's great about this game mode is that it really appeals to all levels of players. It is awesome. Now, um, some things that were a little bit unseen um, in this release, by myself included, um, Valve released, this, they were calling it the man up mode. And that means that you were playing man versus machine on a Valve server. And to do that, you need to buy a, a tour of duty ticket, which is basically just a $1 fee. Considering that it takes a 32 player server to host a man versus machine game, and that Valve had to put up a lot of servers, didn't even necessarily put up enough servers, um, you know, just for the server maintenance, uh, the $1 fee is 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 cool. Like, I, I don't mind that, I'll, I'll throw down my $1, Valve can have my dollar bill, and uh, we'll play some Man vs. Machine on the Valve servers. Another thing that they introduced was the squad surplus vouchers, which are $2, and if one of your teammates has that squad surplus voucher and uses it before the start of a mission, I believe in man up mode, then every uh, player gets an item. So that's awesome. Uh, the tour of duty, you do get an item at the end of it. Um, if you complete a tour of duty, they're going to release more. And um, I think that's cool, you know, and also, I mean, with the $1 fee, Valve does not give items away for free um, besides your random drops. So uh, I think it's, I think it's legit. It's legit. And now, um, check that out. Now let's move on to letters to Robin. Dear Robin. Thanks for showing some love to the TF2 Xbox community by releasing the orange box for download last week. While TF2 on the Xbox is an alternate world without hats, Manco, or Saxton Hale, people still love it and it is a great opportunity to introduce TF2 to more people. However, there are still some issues with the game that need to be fixed like skywalking and unbreakable sappers. Without fixing these issues, any new players to the community will quickly tune out. Well, of course, we would like the Xbox version to be on par with the PC version. We understand it's a complicated issue. I think they're still happy playing vanilla. Thanks for listening. The Xbox 360 TF2 community, care of X9. And now for competitive news, the ETF2L Highlander Nations Cup has finished up. Congratulations to Germany for winning that. Uh, it was a great event with lots of spectators watching via the Vanilla TV cast. The sixes bracket is still ongoing in the quarterfinal stage with the remaining matchups. Uh, Sweden versus Finland. That is a classic rivalry right there. U.S. versus France. They may have given us the Statue of Liberty, but we like to give them a hard time. Uh, Portugal versus Denmark. And Germany versus England, which is a, a huge uh, sporting rivalry. Over the years, uh, even some sports that involved lethal weapons. Um, but, you know, definitely huge up to the ETF2L admins for putting on a great events, uh, doing a fantastic job with the organization. Of course, big ups to all the players being involved in this and making it such a success. But um, the, the fantastic prize pot couldn't have been done without the private donations where those come from. So definitely much love to those people. Now, let's go on to our item of the week. The item of the week is the Shogun's Guard. Featured on the Team Fortress blog post about the upcoming Steam community features, which we're also excited about. This was created by A.S. Diaf and Robexi. That is my best attempt at pronouncing those names. Um, not only is it a very cool samurai armor guard for the soldier's left arm, but it also adds a little kimono under the sol soldier's shirt that you can see and that you can dye. So very cool little piece of armor. Hopefully its inclusion in that blog post points to the fact that it's probably getting into the game soon. Fingers crossed. 
Now, our, for our last segment, Community of the Week. Our Community of the Week is the Bar Room Heroes. They have three TF2 servers, a DayZ server, CS servers as well. They are a community that has been around since 2007. They are currently organizing a boys versus girls charity match between male and female members of their community. The tiebreaker map three is coming up. XTV with Kip and Sud uh, cast in the second map. And uh, these teams are raising money and it's going to go to the charity of choice for the winning team. So the men's charity is uh, to benefit testicular cancer, while the women's charity is for breast cancer. Very fitting. Um, very cool guys, and we're definitely excited about this uh, boys and girls charity match. We will be casting the third map uh, once it comes up. We're not quite sure on the schedule yet. Well, that's about it for us, ladies and gentlemen. I do want to mention that next week's Extra Vision, we are going to be shooting it a day earlier, and then we're going to be pushing it out the doors. That's because on Thursday, I'm going to be flying to England for the I-46 tournament. So, so hyped about that. I've been uh, working my hiney off, and uh, this is what I'm looking forward to. It's going to be great. Two North American teams. So we're definitely going to have a hype episode that we're filming uh, the day before I fly out to that. Then Lucky Luke is going to push that episode out real quick, uh, probably late his time on Thursday. Uh, then I'm arriving in the Netherlands on Friday, and I'm flying out to I-46 with not only Lucky Luke, but also Kuhn from Kuhn TV. So big ups to Kuhn. Then a final reminder, please, if you're going to submit your demo to us, please use the website tf2demos.com. Uh, it's a fantastic website if you're looking for STV demos, if you're looking for POV demos of particular players. And also, those links don't expire. So it's very helpful for us if we're getting into these uh, frag videos that we actually have downloads to be able to pull from. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for tuning in. I am Eckstein. I will see you next time. Peace out. Peace out. Sure you do. Yes. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm, quiet. Here we go. Lovely. How am I sweating? Do you want to wipe off like a, you want to bring your towel? A wipe off rag? Yeah, I already used a blanket there because I'm too. No, that's all right. Okay. There's a towel. I'd rather use my dirty towel or your spy t-shirt.